Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. June 2nd, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays are making a quick stop in Seattle for a two-game series. So let's uh, simulate the rest of the games for the day. See how, they, how everybody else did in the MLB. Alright, let's... Uh, we probably could have, could have started from the bottom, but I will. All right, got a uh, four to two victory for the Marlins over the Dodgers. A half decent game between them. Looks like it might, might have been a, a pitcher's duel with uh, you know one uh, one batter getting a crack kind of thing. So yeah. Uh, Astros over the Dodgers, five to one. Mets over the Expos, again, same story as the uh, Marlins and Giants game. But the Mets taking it four to two over the Expos. Wow, there's lots of four to two games. Cardinals over the Rockies as well. <laughs> uh, five to nothing for the Royals over the Angels. Five to nothing for the Indians over the Orioles. Oh, and here we go again. <laughs> wow, is this like their fourth game? Do they have a four game series? The Yankees over the Red Sox, seven to five. Interesting to see how many runs they've scored during this series. Yeesh. Gotta be a lots. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's like a. Six to three victory for the Tigers over the Athletics, and seven to two for the Rangers over the Twins. All right, Toronto Blue Jays at Seattle Mariners. I almost selected Seattle. <laughs> for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. All right, pitch speed, all star. Bullpen. Eric Hansen at Randy Johnson. There he is. He's a lefty. I know that much. But just in case I'm wrong. Yeah. Six foot ten. Oh boy. One of the strikeout leaders in the American League. With Facero right there. <laughs> I'm guessing Facero's the next pitcher. Oh boy. This could be a good series, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a good series if we're going to be facing Facero tomorrow. So yeah. Eric Henson at Randy Johnson. As for the lineup in batting order, we have Otis Nixon in center field, Joe Carter at first base, Jacob Brumfield as designated hitter, Ed Sprague at third base, Tilson Brito at second base, Benito Santiago behind the plate, Robert Perez in right field, Sean Green in left field, and Alex Gonzalez at shortstop. All right, let's play ball. Alrighty. Nuke. I did put pitch speed to all-star, right? I did notice that, uh, yeah. I did notice that Randy Johnson's uh, stamina was a bit low, so. And again, that was just a, uh, a slider I think he threw. One out. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. All right. All right that was a curve. <laughs> Round ball up the middle. Next up, the designated hitter, number five. Let's go, Jacob. Oop, swing and a miss. We have yet to see the fastball, I think. <laughs> Send him a second. Bring the pitch back to first. <clears throat> Pardon me. Next up for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. I 
I don't think he's throwing the fastball yet. That looks like it might have been. I don't know if that was full speed or not, but it's 3 0 the count. Ooh. That had a little something on it. Yeah, well, I did first. Now that for the Mariners, the second baseman, number twenty-eight. All right, let's start off with a slow slider. Uh, slow fastball. And a eh, fast slider. Let's go with a fast change up. Got him. Now that for the Mariners, the shortstop number three. All right, let's go with a slow fastball. Foul ball. Medium fastball. Slow change up. <clears throat> Pardon me. Two down. Next up for the Mariners, the center fielder, number 24. The man, Ken Griffey Jr. himself. All right, let's go with a slow fastball up and away. Uh, let's go with a medium changeup. Field. Next up for the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number fourteen. That could be trouble. Does it have enough? It's, it's off the wall. wall. Oh, when? Yeah, the one tr big drop back of a big. Oh, he's safe at second. The one drawback of a big wall. If it goes off the top of it, hopefully the outfielders <laughs> anticipated it. Alright. A double for Tilson Brito. Barely. <laughs> That's not enough. Take up. Go, 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 go. Slide. Safe at third. Now that for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 17. Hmm. Do I just want to try and send him home? Yeah. No. Well, uh, well it'd be nice to get him home, but I'm not going to vote. Run, run, scores. And a single to center field. Now that for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. All right. So in the second. Woo. And he's a big time. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I mean... If Randy Johnson were, if his stamina was like fully, like if he was ready and raring to go kind of thing. 
I think the only person I might risk stealing with is Otis Nixon. Maybe Brumfield and Gonzalez, but yeah. Because <laughs> if we take off and he throws that 100 mile an hour fastball, um, <laughs> we might not make it. Alright, let's go with a slow fastball. Or a slow slider, sorry. Slow fastball. Let's throw the heat. Next up, for the Mariners, the right fielder, number 19. All right, let's go with a medium fastball. <clears throat> Pardon me. The field. Ooh. And he flies out to the outfield. Now that for the Mariners, the first baseman, number 44. Slow fastball. Uh, medium fastball. Fast changeup. Ooh. It was the highest career batting average. Uh, Cobb. Hey, got it. 366. Definitely nothing to sneeze at <laughs> for a career. Yeah. All right. Uh, Gonzalez. Uh, let's go with normal. And base hit. Now that for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Set of a second. Oh, that was a fastball. He's out. <laughs> I don't think I've had a successful steal yet this game. One and two. And drive in a left. Decent. Now that for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number twenty nine. Try it. Nixon, can he make it? Another fastball. Save it second. Out it at first. Now that the designated hitter. Number five. Right field. Ooh, base hit all the way to the wall. Nixon's gonna score. Yeah, that's a double. Now that for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. Whoa. It's a high fly ball. Deep to center. Off the wall. And ooh. One run scores. Sprague makes it the second on a throw home. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number 14. A routine fly to the outfield. Wilson. Let's go with a medium slider. Next job for the Mariners, the third baseman, number 18. 
Ooh, a fast slider. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Two out. Now batter for the Mariner, the left fielder, number five. With a slow slider. Mm, slow fastball. Bunts it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that was a good bunt. For the Mariner, the second baseman, number 28. Right up that slot between the pitcher and third base. Yeah. Uh, let's go with a fast slider. Runner's going. Throws the second. Got him for the third out. Now that for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. All right, let's go, Benito. It's a long fly ball. And it's we cleared the wall. Now that for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 17. That was a monster 30-second home run for Benito Santiago, 492 feet. Ooh. This one a bit earlier. Ground ball. Now that for the Blue Jays. The left fielder, number 15. Ooh, nice one. Oh, that's a single. <laughs> Next up for the Blue Jays. The shortstop, number eight. Let's go with power. Ooh, down the line. And, oh, just gets by him. And, no, stay at third. Now that for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Ooh. Got me on that one. In the center field, base hit. Base is loaded. Now that for the Blue Jays, the first base number 29. All right, Joe. A long drive. Way back. Can it make it? Next up, the designated hitter, number five. Home run number 27 for Joe Carter, 414 feet, and I believe that's his second Grand Slam of the season. The first one was Santiago, wasn't it? I uh, think it was. No, it was Delgado that hit the first one. That's who it was. Number 33. And second. On a good pitch. Out anyway. Yeesh. Catcher's got an arm. Splits the defense all the way to the wall. That's a single. Now batter for the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number 14. Let's go with the normal. Ooh. 
2 0. Ah. Should have saw that coming. Down the line, foul. foul Oh, ho, ho. well placed. Now better for the Mariners, the second baseman, number twenty-eight. All right, uh, let's go with a slow fastball. <clears throat> Pardon me. Try a fast changeup. Round ball. Short stop the first. One out. Now that for the Mariner, the short stop, number three. Uh, let's go with the medium slider. Medium fastball. Oh, oh! Error by Tilson Brito. Next up for the Mariners, the center fielder, number 24. Slow fastball. Medium slider. Line drive right to the shortstop. If I was paying attention, I might have gotten him at first. <laughs> the designated hitter, number 11. All right, Edgar Martinez. Let's go with a fast change up, up in the strike zone. Hmm, hurt me. Uh, slow slider. Ooh, I hit it. And let's throw the heat. Ah. Let it drop. Next up for the Mariners, the right fielder, number 19. Runners on the corners. Let's go with a fast changeup. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hmm. Medium slider. And let's throw the heat. Round ball. Out at first. Got out of a jam. The pitcher for the Mariners, number 51. All right, who bring, who'd they bring in? Wells. All right. Not David Wells. All right, let's go with the, uh, let's go with power. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 17. Home run number 33 for Benito Santiago, 402 feet. Robert Perez, let's go with contact. Ooh, diving catch for the first baseman. Now that, for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. All right, Sean Green. Foul ball. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Now better for the Blue Jays. The shortstop, number eight. <clears throat> Next up, for the Mariners, the first baseman, number 44. 
And medium slider. Round ball. Throw the first to get the out. Next up, for the Mariners, the catcher. Number <clears throat> All right, let's go with the slow fastball. Uh, medium changeup. It's a routine grounder. Out. Two out. Now batting for the Mariners, the third baseman, number eighteen. Slow fastball. Slow slider. Throw the heat. I'm a little short. Out at first. Now bad for the Blue Jays. The center fielder, number two. Now bad for the Blue Jays. The first baseman, number 29. Ooh, line drive up the middle. Diving play by the second baseman and gets him at first. The designated hitter, number 5. All right, uh, let's go to power. Next up for the Mariners, the left fielder, number five. Yeah, we still got lots relatively. All right, let's go with a slow fastball. Slow fastball. Uh, let's try a medium slider. Oh, I thought that oh, beat the throw to first because I thought I'd now walk past it. For the Mariners, the second baseman, number 28. Well, considering the nature of the hesitation, I'm not even sure if I would have got him even if I didn't think that. All right, let's go with the uh, slow slider. He was motoring down that line. We're going... Out at second. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's throw the heat down the middle. Oop. Next up for the Mariners, the shortstop, number three. Uh, let's go with a fast changeup. <coughs> Pardon me. Ooh. <laughs> now batting for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. For the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number mm. 14. Let's bring in Garcia again. Pinch hitting for Tilson Brito, Carlos Garcia. Whoa! Go, go, go! 
Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. First home run for Carlos Garcia, 372 feet on a normal power swing. Finally did it. Ah, that's when I can confirm. Because <laughs> his power rating against righties is a 2, and his normal and his contact is a, are both 7s, so yeah. Ah, nice to see it again. All right. Ooh. Two and one to Benito Santiago. <laughs> Swing and a miss. <laughs> I don't think I really had any business swinging at that, but made contact at least. <laughs> Sent out foul. Fly ball to center. Next up for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 17. Line drive to second baseman for the third okay. out. For the Mariners, the third <clears throat> fielder, number 24. Ken Riffey Jr. Let's go with a medium slider. And foul. Slow slider. Uh, slow fastball. Hmm. Let's go with fast change up, up and in. Ooh, missed ball two. Uh, fast change up, up and in. He got that one. Ooh. Base it. Next up, the designated hitter, number 11. All right, Edgar Martinez. Slow fastball. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, fast slider. Oh, oh, I almost thought that got by him. I threw it to the wrong base. <laughs> One away. Empty. Now batting for the Mariners, the right fielder, number 19. Uh, let's go with a medium slider. Slow fastball. And let's go with a fast changeup. Now batting for the Mariners, the first baseman, number 44. And let's go with a slow fastball. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit. Runners at the corners. Now batting. For the Mariners, the catcher, number six. All right, let's go with a slow slider. One ball, throw to first, got him. Next up, for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. Yeah, probably doing fine. All right, Sean Green, let's go with a normal. Uh, 
Next up, for the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. All right, Alex. Normal. Ooh, shallow center field. Base hit. Ooh, gets by the center fielder all the way to the wall. Rounding second. Do I dare go for an inside the park? No. <laughs> Next up, for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Uh, what up? Let's try to get him home. Bunt. Out at first, but the run Next scores. Up for the Blue Jays, the first paper, number 29. Ball one. In the right field, base hit. Next up, the designated hitter, number five. Center of a second. A routine fly to the outfield. High fly ball for the third out. Next up, for the Mariners, the third baseman. Number 18. Yeah. <clears throat> He's probably fine. Let's go with a slow slider. <clears throat> uh, slow fastball. Hmm. Fast puller change up. Let's throw the heat. And foul. Throw the heat again. Run ball to the middle. Throws the first. One out. Next up for the Mariner, the left fielder, number. Uh, medium fastball. It's a routine grounder. Two and out. Bad. For the Mariners, the second baseman, number twenty. All right. Uh, let's go with a slow fastball. And foul. Slow change up. Ooh, and got it. Next up for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. All right, so how is he doing? He's got lots left. Uh, warm up anybody, anyways. If things start to go downhill, God forbid, <laughs> we should have enough time to <laughs> warm somebody up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's probably off the wall. Nope. Now better for the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number thirteen. Pulled that one hardcore. Next up for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. Swing and a miss. A routine 
line to the outfield. Next up, for the Mariners, the shortstop, number three. All right, Hanson, let's see if we can do it. Uh, let's go with a slow fastball. Uh, slow change up. The field. One away. Next up for the Mariners, the center fielder, number twenty-four. Slow fastball. Slow fastball. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, something fast. Not a fast slider. Next up, the designated hitter. Number 11. All right, Edgar Martinez. Medium slider. Medium slider. And there was the first to end the ball game. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. For the Toronto Blue Jays, 11 runs on 18 hits, one error. Grand slam home run by Joe Carter. Went three for five on the day. Benito Santiago, two home runs, two RBIs, two for five on the night, on the day, whatever it may be. I didn't see, couldn't see if it was day or night. Three for four for Alex Gonzalez. Everybody got at least one hit. Carlos Garcia got his first home run of the season. All right. Pitching, Eric Hansen went nine innings, struck out five, zero walks, zero home runs, zero earned runs. Gets his 11th win of the season. And another shutout. Interesting to see how many he's had so far. I guess we'll find out once we get to that point. All right. For the Seattle Mariners, zero runs on five hits, zero errors. Tinsley was two for three. Ken Griffey Jr., Edgar Martinez, and I guess it's Paul Sorrento. Sounds familiar. My apologies for getting it wrong if I am. All right. So yeah, Griffey, Martinez, Sorrento with the other three hits. Pitching, Randy Johnson went four innings, struck out one, zero walks, two, gave up two home runs, eight earned runs. One of those home runs was a grand slam, so <laughs> that eight earned runs can be a bit skewed, I guess, in a sense. Randy Johnson gets his sixth loss of the season. Wells pitched five innings, struck out one, zero walks, two home runs, three earned runs. All right, league leaders for the American League. I forgot to check to see if we got any stolen bases. I don't think we did. I think we got thrown out on all of them. If we did, we might have gotten one, but I don't think we did. Twenty-three doubles for David Justice. Ten triples for Otis Nixon. Seven triples for Alex Gonzalez, and five for Nomar Garcia Para. <clears throat> Pardon me. Thirty-four home runs for Ed Sprague. Thirty-three home runs for Benito Santiago. Thirty for Mark McGuire. 
72 RBIs for Joe Carter. <laughs> Added at least four of them this game. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think that was his lone hit with the Grand Slam. So, yeah, he got four RBIs. 66 RBIs for Jim Tomey, 63 for Ed Sprague. Pitching. All right. Eric Hansen, 11 wins, ERA of 1.173. Uh, strikeouts. How's uh, Hansen? Sixty three strikeouts on the season for Eric Hansen. <clears throat> Pardon me. We were able to hold off Randy Johnson. Although I th yeah, he did get one strikeout though. Uh, held him off from dominating us too much <laughs> in terms of strikeouts. Alright. Sixth complete game for Eric Hansen, fourth shutout. Twelve quality starts. And for the National League. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with batting first. Barry Bonds still leading the National League. 366. Thirty-six doubles for Blouser, <laughs> and twenty-two apiece for Bagwell and Joiner. Henry Rodriguez right behind them with eighteen. Seven triples for Womack, six apiece for Johnson and Morandini. And the home run race in the National League still as hot as ever. Twenty-three home runs for Henry Rodriguez and Barry Bonds. Twenty-one for Sammy Sosa. Twenty for Larry Walker. <clears throat> Pardon me. Fifty-three RBIs for Rodriguez. Forty-four for Walker. Forty-three for Gant. Alrighty. And for pitching, nine wins for Wright. ERA of 1.830. I don't think that changed. If it did, his ERA did, didn't. I mean, his ERA changed. Eleven saves for Shaw. Hundred and nine strikeouts for Schmidt, hundred and five strikeouts for Cordova, hundred and three for Smiley, and hundred and two for Morgan. <laughs> nine complete games, three shutouts for Schmidt, nine quality starts. Is Shurik still going strong? He is. <clears throat> 14 games, 14 perfect starts as far as no runs in the first inning. Alrighty. At the end of June 2nd, 1997, the American League West, Seattle leading 30 wins, 27 losses, followed by Oakland Athletics, 26 and 32, Texas half a game behind them with 25 and 32, Anaheim, 18 and 38. Central Division, Cleveland Indians, 38 wins, 19 losses. Kansas City Royals, 32 and 24. Milwaukee, 25 and 30. Chicago White Sox, 24 and 31. And Minnesota Twins, 23 and 34. In the East, Toronto Blue Jays, 50 wins, 6 losses. Baltimore Orioles, 33 and 25. Detroit, 27 and 29. New York Yankees, 24 and 33. And Boston Red Sox, 21 and 36. 
the National League West, Colorado, 35-21, and 21, San Diego Padres, 28-27, San Francisco Giants, 25-30, Los Angeles Dodgers, 21-34, Central St. Louis Cardinals, 33-22, Cincinnati Reds, 30-27, Chicago Cubs, 28-28, Houston, 26-30, Pittsburgh Pirates, 23-34. In the East, Montreal, 33-22, and 22, followed by half a game by the New York Mets at 33-23. and 23. Atlanta, 32-24, and 24. Florida, 22-32, and 32. and Philadelphia, 21-36. and 36. Yeah, Three teams in the mix for the league in the East, in the National League. Next time, on June 3rd, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays are still in Seattle playing their second of their two-game series before getting a day off and uh, heading home for a... How many games? One, two, three, four, seven-game homestand. Four of those being against Oakland, who will be dropping in. But they'll get a day off on the on the fourth anyway. So, anyways, this is Intrepid eighty three signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.